And I'll give the floor to the representative of Samoa. Mr. President, as the last speaker from the Pacific Small Island Developing States to take the floor, allow me on their behalf to thank the General Assembly under your visionary leadership for successfully adopting by consensus the resolution climate change and its possible security implications. This is a momentous occasion in the life of our organization and a high point in Pacific Seeds' continuing efforts to underscore the existential threats of the adverse effects of climate change on our smaller and more vulnerable island countries. History will vindicate our Assembly's strength of conviction as demonstrated by the adoption of the consensual resolution today. Mr. President, a year ago when the resolution was first introduced, achieving a result as we had just witnessed was considered untenable, far-fetched, and naive. Even a few weeks ago, a consensual resolution remained all but elusive, and our Pacific States members were beginning to question whether we had the perseverance and determination to pull this one off. But persevere we did, determined we were. Compromise and accommodation we practiced. For true to our sense of moral and ethical obligation to our Pacific Islanders who have already been and will soon be victims of the impacts of climate change, we continue to tell our story as truthfully as we see it and troubled where the people fought foul of us and our motive. For there was none, there was no ulterior aim other than to share the truth with the rest of the world. After all, some of our members have the high moral ground to insist on having their stories told from their simple perspectives and cluttered by other agendas, world dynamics, and unfounded concerns. Mr. President, looking back now, any doubts we might have had about a successful outcome is truly water under the bridge, for action speaks volume than words. Through the unanimous adoption of this resolution, you, the General Assembly, has rewarded our resolve with your trust and repaid our fortitude with your confidence and faith. For those member states who believed and stood by us from day one, through the thick and thin of the negotiations, no reward suffices because none was expected. If you in you, the PCs have found a true friend, for a friend in need is a friend indeed. Mr. President, today's resolution is the culmination of exhaustive and protracted discussions with the wider UN membership. The text of this finely balanced resolution is the result of Indonesia's pivotal role in bringing together all parties in an effort to preach differences while respecting stated positions. And we wish to join others in acknowledging Indonesia's leadership in this regard. Notwithstanding differences of view expressed by various delegations throughout the course of negotiations, I think we can all agree that the threats of climate change on the livelihood, well-being and security of all our peoples and countries is real and upon us. The revised resolution just adopted represents for all of us a collective compromise, but nonetheless, a united call for all the relevant organs of the United Nations to intensify their efforts and give focused attention to a particular aspect of climate change that has yet to be fully discussed and considered at the United Nations. In closing, allow me on behalf of Pacific States to place on record our debts of gratitude to all the co-sponsors whose unwavering support nourished our spirits and gave us the strength to continue to the end. To all the UN member states, words are inadequate to describe what the heart fears, for it fears the truth. The unanimity of your support has dignified today's proceedings, and the consensual resolution is a legacy that is rightly yours and ours to claim. Mr. President, you came to our aid when we needed it most, and you had spared no effort to ensure 
that Pacific Islands concerns are given center stage, notwithstanding the multitude of global crises competing for our organization's attention and time. To the UN Secretariat and all the Aung San heroes behind the scene, your facilitative roles have not gone unnoticed, and we acknowledge this warmly. Finally, to our Pacific Island states and people on whose behalf this effort was first initiated, I hope we have not let you down. I hope you haven't misplaced your trust in us. We have taken the first and crucial step. We have a long way still to go before we can benefit from, from today's historic resolution. The United Nations is our sanctuary and our last place of resort. And we have every faith that it will not let us down in the long and uncharted road ahead. I thank you.